Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and this is the Painted Pink Challenge video sponsored by Diecast Outcast to help raise awareness for breast cancer since this is October and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So Diecast Outcast put a call out uh, probably about a month or six weeks ago or so. Um, to help raise awareness for breast cancer uh, during the month of October and set October 12th as the date. Um, there's been a ton of great response, ton of um, custom builders that are all participating, even some bigger names like Bare Metal HW, uh, Marty's Matchbox Makeovers, which uh, both of those guys are like my idols and the people that I started watching that got me into the hobby. So it's kind of cool to be part of the same thing as them. Uh, but anyways, I will have a link in the description down below to not only Diecast Outcast page, but also um, he's creating a playlist with every single video. So you don't have to go all over the place. It'll all be in one spot. So please make sure you check it out. And the great part is everybody who is participating are auctioning off their cars to be able to um, donate the money made or raised through the auction and donating it to um, some sort of cancer um, charity of their choosing. So um, I think that's all great. I will be taking this car and putting it on my Outlaw Speed Shop Facebook page, which the link is down below as well. I know not everybody's on Facebook, and I apologize. This just makes the most sense. I don't have an eBay account uh, set up for selling. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a picture of the car and I'm going to, um, have bidding open for, um, three or four days and just go put a number down. And all I ask is if you win the car, the money that you are going to pay me, do me a favor, send me a screenshot of you donating that money someplace to some charity, um, could be, a, um, you know, I'm sure you're going to do it digitally or you're going to write a check or whatever. Um, I just need proof you're going to send it to where you say you're going to send it. Um, and I will mail the car off to you free anywhere in the world. So this way the money goes to something that's close to you personally, um, not of my choosing. Um, I know there's a lot of local places. It doesn't have to be Dana-Farber or anything like that. So um, wherever you want, that's where you can send it. So here I have a Matchbox AAR Cuda. Um, this thing is pretty uh, well played with, let's put it that way. And that's, this is going to be my, my base for what I'm going to try to accomplish here in this, in this video. So if you like die-cast die cars and trucks, you enjoy customizing them or looking for tips and inspiration uh, for your own projects, um, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. And um, if you do, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified of all future videos. But the the bit overall bones of this car are actually pretty good. Uh, it looks worse than what it really is. So I found some raised white letter Goodyear tires in my bucket of wheels. Um, I kind of played around, as you guys know, when it comes with most of my builds, I build them around the wheels because uh, a good set of wheels will um, do wonders. So uh, I found these, and that's kind of what I'm going to go with. I, I went back and forth on some different ones, but... Um, after playing around, I, I decided to go with the raised white letter to kind of fit the, the genre of car. Um, two posts, drill them out. Very simple, very easy. The base has got some rust around the axles. The uh, interior is very dirty. Um, it's amazing how dirty these things get on the inside. <laughs> um, the windshield, got some scratches on it. It's got some dirt on it, but it's not horrible any way, shape, or form. I was able to, uh, to clean it up and uh, take care of that. So I'm going to snip the three little tabs that hold, or at least one tab to get the wheels out, because at this point, um, you know, I'm not sure the width of what I'm going to be using for donor wheels, um, but not, not too soon after that, I realized that I'm going to have to trim them regardless. So I just pry the little posts up one by one, and then later I'll go back and I'll snip them off um, with the side cutters just to make it all smooth because I'm going to end up grinding it out anyways um, in that area because I had to go with axle tubes, um, which seems to be a trend with most of the wheels I have. <laughs> but uh, this is a fun project. Um, I like working on 
cars that I'm going to end up giving away um, for one reason or another, especially when it goes to a charity. Um, my mother passed away from cancer, not breast cancer, um, not too, well, feels like yesterday, but I think it was like 10 years ago now. And, um, you know, we found out in September and um, she passed in January. That's how quick it was because by the time she was diagnosed, um, it had spread everywhere, um, throat, and bones, and you name it. Um, and, and it's tough, obviously, on the individual, um, but it's equally as tough on the family to watch somebody you love and, and just to go through something like that, especially after chemo and everything else. It's very... Uh, it just, it breaks you, you know, uh, it changes you on the inside and on the outside. Um, but you know, I've also got some friends recently, um, some that passed, but I've got some that, um, that, that beat it at least temporarily. So, um, you know, hopefully the money raised from this can go towards a cure or to help somebody in need or a family or, or anything like that. So that's why I enjoy doing these kind of videos and I try to put a little extra in, or at least it seems like that anyways. Um, you can see me kind of grinding away a little bit at the, um, interior because the interior a little is molded in with the tabs to actually help hold the axles. And when you put the axle tubes in because of the larger diameter, you just have to widen them up a little bit and just go a little bit deeper. So it fits the radius. That's all. Um, once I've kind of dry fit everything, then I go and I'll, I'll drill and tap my, my holes, um, I lost some footage. Um, I think my camera was, I don't know, it creeped up or down. And uh, it was just horrible footage. But I cleaned out the windshield. I gave it a quick scuff with some 800 grit sandpaper. Then I hit it again with 12. Now I'm just going to dip it in the future floor shine. And I'm going to cover it up. So it doesn't get any dingleberries on it. Because this stuff takes forever to dry. And when you do do it, make sure you, it puddles up on the end. So just kind of make sure you, you dab a little bit so you get the excess off and don't be a douche like me I just put it right in the spot <laughs> um, I stripped it with citrus strip and here is the stance that I got uh, real happy with it the wheels fit look awesome I took the wire wheels scotch bright cleaned it up I'm gonna use white surface primer from Tamiya this stuff looks good I'm, I do that a lot just to to get a good feel for if I have any defects and now I'm going to use two paints, Chaos Black from Citadel, and I picked up this Electric Pink from Testers. Uh, I had no idea what it was going to look like, and I was very pleasantly surprised. The Citadel paint I applied right over the Testers paint, and I wanted a black, uh, black hood. And I know, and I'm going to probably get crap for this, but I know a lot of, you know, obviously Mopars have a flat black hood, or satin black, excuse me. And um, I wanted a black hood, but I wanted this to be a little different. I wanted this car to kind of pop a little bit more. So um, you, can, you can click away now if you don't want to see it, but I'm gonna, I am gonna end up at the end clear coating the hood. <laughs> um, so it's all shiny, but it was a um, calculated intentional thing. I didn't do it out of ignorance. Um, I am ignorant, but that's not why I did it. Um, so to mask off the black, I just kind of put my, I had some wide Tamiya tape and I put it over everything, and then I'll just use my fingernail to kind of accent the the recesses for the hood, and then I'll go back with the knife and trim it. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, but once again, I want to thank Diecast Outcast for doing this. Um, I just think it's a great a great opportunity for a lot of builders. This community for um, custom diecast cars is just freaking amazing. Um, so again, because it was rattle can, I didn't really show the footage, but I rattle can the pink. Um, so now I put more detail into this car than I have any car in the last 11 months. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> um, I ended up buying, <coughs> excuse me, a smaller fine tip, uh, Molotov chrome pen. And I was able to, uh, because of all the because of being so fine, I was actually able to get a lot of details. You can see I'm doing all the window trims and everything else. I had to mask it off because I shake like a hooker in church. So um, it was just easier for me to mask things off. That's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, I put a ton of detail into this thing. So it came out really good. Um, these are the glasses I'm using now. They look like something out of a 
science fiction, but works great. Shout out to all my Patreon members, Chris Smith, Joey Williams, Kristen Stanley, Stephen Mance, William Robinson, Ed Ostrander, Devil's Details, Diecast, Matchbox Garage, Alvarez's Diecast Customs, and Jim Silver, one-time pledges from Chris Stanifer and Aaron Conard. Check out the ones with the YouTube links next to them. This is what I started with, if you'll remember. Um, I really, this thing looks a lot worse than what it was, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, and I think it came out really good. Um, you, know, you can see the wear everywhere, the windows. Um, just some kid really enjoyed it, which is great. And hopefully uh, I give it some new life. And pretty much this is what I ended up with. Um, I hope you guys like it. Stick around for the video, the pictures. And once again, thanks to Diecast Outcast. Make sure you check out the link below. Check out all the videos and bid, bid, bid. I'll catch you on the next one.